Hey everyone, it's Colin here at eTrailer, and today we're going to take a look at Koenig's line of XG12 Pro self-tensioning snow tire chains. These come in a variety of sizes to fit your tire, so just make sure you enter your year, make, model of vehicle in our fit guide, and it'll guide you to the size that's going to correctly fit your tire. Now, if you live in an area where you're going to be frequently experiencing inclement weather, it's always a good idea to keep a set of chains inside your vehicle in just in case you find yourself in an emergency situation. And what's great about our Koenig XG12 Pros is that these are going to give you great traction through snow and ice. They're going to be very easy to install and they have their own self-tensioning system. So a lot of times with those ladder pattern chains or cable ch style chains, you have to get a rubber adjuster separately and you have to get one for each set of chains. And you have to put that on just to make sure they stay snug on your tire. Not the case with our Koenig chains right here. They have it built in right here with their color-coded system. And this is gonna help keep your chain snug against your tire while they're installed. And what's great about our self-tensioning system is that it's built into the tire chain, so you don't have to worry about storing them separately. It's always gonna be attached to the chain when you install them. If you have the ladder pattern chains with the rubber adjuster, you do run that risk of misplacing your rubber adjuster. So if you have to go out and get your chains and then put them on your tire and you don't have your rubber adjuster, then it's not gonna be snug against your tire, which could cause a lot of clanking around. Koenig is well known for making a high quality chain. These have a manganese nickel alloy steel construction. And basically what that means is that they're going to be very tough and durable. They're gonna give you the traction that you need. They're gonna resist rust and corrosion and hold up for a long time. Now Koenig designed these chains with a diamond pattern. That's just gonna give you more coverage around your tire and thus give you much better traction. Now another thing it's gonna do for you is it's gonna give you a smoother ride with those ladder pattern style chains. Basically it just feels like you're going over a lot of little speed bumps. Now I wanna point out you're still gonna feel the diamond pattern chains on your tire while you're driving, but it's gonna be a much smoother ride. We are gonna have these double-sided D-shaped links. These are gonna really dig into that snow and ice and give you the bite that you need to be able to pull through and stay on track. We're also gonna have two steel plates on each set right here all throughout the tire they're positioned on the center of our tread that's also going to help provide great traction and for any of that thicker ice that you might come across where the d-shaped links can't get through this is going to be there to break that up and give you traction now no matter what set of chains you get you do want to make sure you put them on the correct side of your vehicle if you have a rear wheel drive vehicle which will be most trucks and suvs you're going to want to put them on the back tires if you have a front wheel drive vehicle, which you'll find most sedans and a lot of crossover SUVs have, then you're gonna to wanna to put them on the front tires. Now, if you have all wheel drive or four wheel drive and you wanna have a set of tires, a set of chains for both tires, then just use the same part number that you got for your size tire. With your set of chains, you are gonna get a bag full of these anti-scratch nylon bumpers. Right now, it's not really relevant to even put them on our chain. What they're for is if your chain happens to make contact with your wheel down here, if you have a taller wheel and a skinnier tire and the chain is rubbing up against them, then you're gonna to wanna to install these along the chain right here to make sure it doesn't scratch them up. It's very easy to install. We got one side with a stud, one side right here. Just press it down until it clicks. Once you, do that, once you do that along the entire perimeter of the chain, then it's gonna make sure it doesn't harm or scratch the finish of your wheels. The chains are also gonna be compatible with your ABS and traction control systems, so you won't have to worry about the chains messing those up while you're driving. The chains are gonna have a maximum speed rating of 30 miles per hour, so just make sure you keep it slow out there. Now what's nice is that we do have this durable case that's gonna make for a very easy storage. It's kind of an upgrade from some other chains out there that just come in a cheap bag or sack that can tear up very easy, or even if the chains themselves can tear up while they're in storage. This is gonna be very durable, keep your chains safe, and it's also compact, so it would fit under a seat or in your trunk, wherever's convenient for you. Now I'll go ahead and open up the case for you so you can see the inside. See, we do have our other chain right here. We're also gonna have a bag with a set of instructions. There will also be a set of gloves and a kneeling mat, just so you don't have to directly kneel into the snow. When you first get your set of chains, I would recommend going ahead and installing them on your tire, whether it's in your driveway or in your garage, just before you go out into any inclement weather. So if you find yourself in an emergency situation, you're gonna know exactly what to do. We'll go ahead and walk you through the install right now. It's gonna be the same for every size chain. Now the first thing you wanna do is lay out your chains flat and just make sure there's no kinks or twists in the chain and also make sure that there's no broken links. You also wanna make sure you lay them down the correct way. Right here you can see we have this hook right here with the two little prongs. 
you want to make sure that's facing down on the ground right now so that when we install the chains, the flat part right here will be rubbing against the tire. Now right here between our gray cable and our red channel, this is kind of going to be the halfway point of our chain. So when we're installing them, this side's gonna go on one side of the tire and this side's gonna go on the other side. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and slide these behind our tire until we get to the halfway point and then line up the chains with the bottom of our tire. Now what's great is that from here, we're not gonna have to make any connections on the back side of our tire, so we don't have to lay in the snow at all. From here, all we have to do is grab a hold of the both sides of the cable. Then we're gonna bring it up behind our tire. And then we'll make our connection right there. And this cable is gonna stay behind the tire. So from here, we'll grab a hold of our chains, drape it over the top and sides of our tire. From here, we're gonna use those color-coded connection points they have. Take that red link and put it on the hook, just like that. Just make sure everything is even throughout the installation process. Now we're gonna come down here and get our self-tensioning system in place. What we'll do is take our red channel and our gray cable and run it through, just like that. Then we're gonna pull up on it as tight as we can get it. Now we're gonna come up here to this plastic case where it says Koenig. We'll grab a hold of the red hook right here pull down and then connect it to our cable. Now from here you're all done with this tire. Just go ahead and repeat this process on the other side. And if you notice that entire time I was wearing these gloves just to show you guys it's just as easy to install them if you have gloves on. Well I appreciate you all for watching and I hope this information helped you out. But that's going to do it for our look at Koenig's line of XG12 snow tire chains.